so my name is Carrie Ann Richards and I'm a speech and language therapist and I've been a speech and language therapist for the last four years. My name is Victoria Bianconi. I'm a rehabilitation assistant. I've been in the speech therapy field for five years. I find the initiative great. I applaud Digital for it. Knowing that persons are involved in training individuals so that they can better serve the community, the country at large, I find it uh, inspiring. Well, I'm an occupational therapist and my function basically is to integrate children into society and teach them how to play. Um, I'm Ariane Mangar, Director of Disability and Rehabilitation, Ministry of Health. I want to say thank you to DigiCell because without them and partnering with the Ministry of Health, the Rehab and Disability program, we would not be able to advance our autism training for speech therapists and rehabilitation specialists or assistants and our social workers attached to the program throughout Guyana. It could be challenging at times to get everything we need at one time to run programs and Digicel has come on board at the right time to help us to enhance the program we offer for children with autism and therefore we've been able to increase the, um, the knowledge, upskill the knowledge for 20 persons who on a wider arena they're able to help thousands of children who would have been diagnosed with autism here or who are suspected to be on the spectrum here in GAD. So the Sanctuary Classroom is an area that will help them to um, understand or to hone how they deal with different aspects like for instance They'll, be, they'll have lights in there because some children are affected by the light. So they'll have different lights, they'll have different surfaces for them to walk on. Um, textures, children with autism, some of them have difficulty dealing with or accepting different textures. Textures in um, material, like things they feel, the, things, the way things feel on them. So it's going to help to improve how they adapt to their environment at home or the wider environment as they go out into the world. Well, I hope that Digicel will renew this partnership with us and continue to help to support what we're doing. We, you know, initially we, we think or we hope that this is the first phase. And in the second phase, maybe we can look at building a building, a, a neuro facility for children with disabilities, where we could have, you know, um, a comprehensive care and treatment for children with disabilities, not only autism, but we could provide hearing aids for these children, we could provide braces, we could provide um, some form of integration schooling so that they could be integrated into the normal school system as they grow older, provide the social and behavioral aspects to this, where we could have the psychological aspects, where we can look at how to um, integrate them behaviorally into the into the world so they can come out and, and be um, function as normal normal children. The partnership between Digicel and the Ministry of Health, more so the rehabilitation and disability arm, has been amazing. It has been one that we needed and we didn't know we need. So Digicel has really come in at the right time to help us in areas that we really need to upskill. Because coming out of COVID-19, we have found that there has been an increase, a massive increase in the amount of children accessing our services due to learning loss, behavioral um, changes, 
um, learning locked in, locked in syndrome and all these other things that fall on the spectrum as we now learn, as we, you know, things are evolving. But definitely G Digicel has played an important role in helping us to deal with the reality of the situation that's facing us currently. Digicel is happy to partner with the Ministry of Health on this initiative. We see the long-term vision to improve the services offered to children with special needs right across the regions of Guyana. We had looked at similar projects at our sister markets in Trinidad and in Jamaica, and they were somewhat advanced compared to Guyana where they had gone through this process, their development process, and they now had centers of excellence throughout the regions. We would like to see the similar thing with the ministry and we see this as a long-term partnership. Hence, we entered this three-year agreement where we focus on developing the resources we will offer the services. We remain committed to this goal and we look forward to continuing to partner with the ministry on other initiatives during the three-year period. We would like to congratulate the 20 students who recently qualified and we hope the improved skills they would have derived from the course can better serve the needs of children throughout the country.